All right, this video we're going to look at simplifying complex fractions using WX Maxima. And these are the two that I'm going to work. Uh, if you want to write them down, you can. I'm going to switch over to WX Maxima and get started on them. Uh, so, well, let's just take a look at the first one. We've got X plus 1 over X plus X plus 1 over X minus 1, and that's all over x plus 2 over x minus 2 over x minus 1. Now, uh, obviously, you're going to have to be very careful when you type these in. Uh, make sure you get your parentheses right and all that. Uh, so let's, let's, I'll type the first one in, the second one, and I'll let you watch me do it. So we've got three parentheses there. So I've got x plus 1. Uh, move here divided by X and let's see move here plus and then parentheses X plus 1 uh, let's see yeah X plus 1 uh, close parentheses divided by X minus 1 close close uh, divided by and then 1 2 3 X plus 2 close parenthesis divided by X minus Divided by uh, no, minus and then parenthesis 2 divided by x minus 1 and then I think that might get it. Let's see. Yep. And and if you missed a parenthesis or you don't have enough and you hit enter, WX Maxima will let you know. Alright, but look at that. All that work and Nothing happened. Didn't simplify it, did it? All right. So what we want to do is we want to simplify this. Okay. We don't want the same thing back. Well, there's this simplify menu and simplify expression. And if you type it, it'll. If you hit it, it will do it. But you know, get used to using the commands. The command for it is rat simp, and then. If you've watched my other videos, remember to recall this, the last output, you put a percent sign. And what that does, that just recalls this answer. And I hit enter, and there you go. It simplifies it. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. Let's see what happens with it. And I'm going to pause the video while I plug it in. Uh, so... Uh, so you don't have to watch me type it in again. It's, it's going to be similar to what I did here. So I'll be back after I have it typed in. All right, so we've got it, I've got it typed in. Let's hit enter and see what happens. Hit enter, and there we go. Well, once again, same thing that happened here. So we'll type in rat simp parentheses and we will recall the last answer and there you go okay so you know it did quite a bit of work but evidently the uh, you know this doesn't simplify okay I don't know uh, well let's see let's let's factor it okay we can do factor whoop, factor and we want to factor this. What it will do, it will factor the numerator and it will factor the denominator. If they factor, I don't know, let's see. So I want to recall the last output, so percent, and hit enter. And there you go. Well, the denominator factored, but the numerator didn't factor. Okay, so, you know, this is it. This is all you can do. I guess either this answer or this answer. Either one's acceptable, it's, it's reduced. All right, so hopefully this video helped. Oh, well, and, and let me say this. 
you could you could do factor rat simp and then parentheses for that and I'll just I'll copy this and paste it in there so let's copy and paste but you know that that gets I mean I know it's messy already but that right there really gets messy doesn't it and then you know now that I have it in I'll type I'll hit enter and I should get this and there you go so you can type it in all at one time or you can do that uh, so hopefully this helped and and I will make these uh, I will make all these WX Maxima files available on my website I'll I'll have a link to the website in the description all right thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe